the leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, is well known for his infamously brutal execution techniques, which frequently mimic scenes from horror movies. Human rights agencies have already chastised the murderous maniac for demanding the death penalty for crimes including watching foreign films or breaking COVID limits. The punishments range from public execution by firing squad to execution using anti-aircraft guns. Since 1948, North Korea has been home to one of the longest-running dynastic dictatorships in history. The North Korean government informed Amnesty International in October 1993 that the death penalty is only applied in extremely serious cases. However, a number of brutal tales from the oppressive nation would seem to the contrary. For example, a recent 2023 report from the Korean Institute for National Unification, KINU, included eyewitness accounts of the Kim dictatorship publicly executing those who disobeyed Pyongyang's strict COVID-19 quarantine regulations. Reports surfaced locally in October 2020 of instructions to shoot anyone who tried to enter the North Korean border during the pandemic, as Kim tightened his hold on power. In November of the same year, the North Korean national was put to death in front of the public by the authorities for breaking emergency quarantine measures. The guy accused of smuggling alongside his Chinese business associates was put to death by firing squad, an order intended to intimidate other people into strictly adhering to the lockdown measures of the totalitarian nation. However, the startling testimony in the Kinu report adds even more support to these horrifying facts. Public hangings and the shooting of children with assault guns are just two examples of the despotic president's long-standing cruel regime policies that include public executions. A South Korean human rights organization included testimonies from North Korean defectors who were made to see the executions with the condemned individuals' families in 2021, and the organization documented 23 public killings in the rogue state. The Transitional Justice Working Group documented 23 public killings that have occurred since Kim, 40, assumed power in December 2011 following the untimely death of his father. The report's sponsor, the Seoul-based Transitional Justice Working Group, was informed by a witness that the state had ordered workers and students to observe the killings as a warning. People were forced to stand in line and stare at the executed person in the face as a warning message, even when there was fluid leaking from the condemned person's brain, they said to researchers. More than any other cause, the terrifying study claims that seven executions were carried out as punishments for viewing or disseminating South Korean media including K-pop. Kim has previously called the genre vivacious cancer, and the killings are a part of an ongoing campaign to suppress the music. Additionally, crimes involving drugs, prostitution, human trafficking, and sex crimes were punishable by the death penalty. Kids shot to dead. According to a source, teenage school students in North Korea were executed as recently as last year after viewing television programs from the South. In a report on abuses by Pyongyang, Seoul's unification ministry based on the testimonies of over 500 North Korean defectors. It contained information of 6 16- and 17-year-olds who were reported to have been threatened with death for ingesting opium and viewing illegally obtained South Korean television programs. After the adolescents received a public execution sentence, authorities shot and killed them at a Haisen airport, forcing the locals to watch in terror. South Korean television programs are smuggled into North Korea on flash drives and watched behind closed doors in order to avoid fines, jail, or worse, death. The members of the dictatorship referred to the children, crimes, as evil. In a horrifying incident that occurred in Heisen in 2012, a youngster was killed using a Kalashnikov gun. A defector described the killing as follows. Flesh was tattered and blood was splattered. The executioner's body was folded in two by the authorities, who then placed it in a sack. I have heard that the sack was thrown away. The brutal treatment of inmates prior to their public execution was also mentioned by the respondents. At a different execution in Heisen in 2012, a witness described the condemned person as being dragged out of the car like a dog before the public execution. Due to the unfavorable circumstances, 
Children who have been sentenced to life in jail are unlikely to survive. After the parents of the two-year-old were discovered in possession of a Bible, North Korea condemned the child to life in a prison camp. The U.S. State Department's International Religious Freedom Report from the previous year disclosed the child's predicament, along with the fact that his entire family was imprisoned. The article also revealed several instances of North Koreans being executed due to their Christian faith, including the 2011 firing squad death of a Christian woman and her granddaughter. Loading Squad According to people escaping the despot's shadowy administration, firing squad executions are among the most common ways of capital punishment. In November 2023, a terrible occurrence involving 25,000 viewers, nine victims, and a vindictive firing squad was revealed in a report by Radio Free Asia. The story claims that 25,000 people were compelled to assemble at the Heisen Airport to witness the gory spectacle. The nine individuals who were turned up to the authorities were accused of beef smuggling, for which they were given the death penalty. Residents told the source that the victims had allegedly been running an illicit beef distribution ring that bought and sold about 2,100 government-owned cows, killed them, and then transferred the meat to markets and establishments, including a restaurant in Pyongyang. The Riangang province, which surrounds Haisen, had enough witnesses to fill the entire mountain range, the local told RFA Korean. He said that army personnel held an hour-long special military tribunal prior to the execution, during which they revealed specifics of each victim's offense. After that, a military marksman executed the seven men and two women who were bound to wooden stakes. He continued, From 2017 to February, 2023, they slaughtered and sold over 2,100 state-owned cows, for which they were shot to death. Police, soldiers, and other security officers surrounding the appalled crowd, making sure that the spectators remained for the full ceremony. I slept through the whole night, shivering with fear, thinking about the horrible scene from yesterday's shooting, the resident added. Local sources state that the government typically mandates attendance at public executions for all physically capable residents in the vicinity. The nation perpetrated yet another heinous breach of human rights after it came to light that the regime had publicly killed a six-month pregnant woman. According to reports, the woman was seen dancing and pointing at a picture of the late nation's founder, Kim Il-sung, in a video from 2017. This was considered serious enough to result in the death penalty for both her and her unborn child. After being suspected of being a traitor, Kim's own uncle Jang Songfake was put to death by firing squad in 2013. According to North Korea's official news agency, Jang wanted to destabilize the country in order to stage a coup and seize power. Kim Jong-un received mentoring from Jang who was regarded as one of North Korea's most powerful individuals prior to his passing. Pyongyang described Jang song Fake as a despicable human scum, worse than a dog, and a traitor to the nation for all ages, in a statement. Around the same time, Oh Sang-han, a close supporter of Jang and the Deputy Minister of Public Security for North Korea, was assassinated for his support. It is said that he was burned to death with a flamethrower anti-aircraft guns. According to reports, defector He Yun Lim witnessed 11 musicians who were allegedly involved in a pornographic film being blown to bits by anti-aircraft weaponry. I felt sick to my stomach seeing what I saw that day, she remarked. He Yun reported that she and her classmates were brought to the city's military academy stadium, where in front of 10,000 onlookers, the hooded victims were chained to the end of anti-aircraft cannons. A gun went off, producing an unbearable and terrifying noise. And one after the other, the weapons were discharged, she remembered. Every time the weapons were fired at the musicians, they just vanished. After their bodies were completely demolished, with blood and pieces flying everywhere, military tanks rolled in and trampled over the pieces of the wreckage that were still on the ground. Reports from South Korean intelligence came in 2015 alleging that the neighbor had publicly executed Defense Minister Hyung Yong Kol for failing to obey orders and dozing off during an event using an anti-aircraft gun. Later, 
unsettling satellite footage that appeared to show civilians lining up in a military training location across from six CPU-4A guns close to a public viewing area was posted by a rights group in North Korea. Reportedly, a year later, a top education official and a former minister of agriculture were executed by anti-aircraft gun at a military academy in Pyongyang. The latter was also believed to have fallen asleep during a meeting. Broken with bubbles. In the Transitional Justice Working Group report, horrifying testimonials were included of how prisoners would work 13 to 15 hours a day at mines, farms, and factories for just 20 ounces of corn pur. A witness claimed that while some people were able to capture insects and rodents to eat, many people perished from starvation and diseases brought on by malnutrition. People consumed snakes and rats, one 46-year-old guy claimed. They were the best food to recover our health, adding that he still had headaches, back pain, and ulcers. And in a startling memory, Another prisoner related how he was executed with his mouth packed full of stones and pebbles to quell any protests after slyly slipping away from his task for 15 minutes to pick fruit. The victim was made to watch the horrifying events at the Sariwan prison in 2015 while being restrained to a wooden post and having a hood placed over his head. The witness remarked, I still can't forget his emotionless face. According to the same witness, there were loud curses and descriptions of the accused as the epitome of social evil coming from those organizing the execution. Other witnesses reportedly witnessed the degradation of the executed's corpse. Toxicity 2017 saw the death of Kim Jong-nam, the estranged half-brother of Kim Jong-un, who was assassinated by the despotic leader. Kim reportedly intended the death to be so gruesome that it would Horrify the rest of the world, according to a report at the time from South Korean security analysts. At Malaysia's Kuala Lumpur International Airport, two ladies killed Kim Jong-nam by smearing him with a lethal VX nerve agent. Surveillance footage that caught the two women as they targeted Jong-nam made them easily identifiable. Additionally, they became identifiable after the assassination was carried out and after they forgot to disguise their faces in the moments preceding it. According to Nam Sungwook, a former operative of South Korea's secret service who looked into the murder, Pyongyang desired for the assassination to be made public. At the time, Nam stated, Pyongyang wanted to send a worldwide message by murdering Kim Jong-nam in this gruesome, public way. Pyongyang wanted to use an airport to release a chemical weapon in order to horrify the rest of the world. Jong-un desires to negotiate as a superpower and rule for a very long time. Keeping everyone terrified of his weapons is the only way he can accomplish it. This is a portion of his larger scheme. The bloodthirsty ruler is said to have recruited the two ladies, Vietnamese Don Thi Hung, 28, and Indonesian Sidi A. Sia, 25, to carry out the public poisoning. But when they attacked Kim Jong-nam, both claimed to national diplomats that they thought they were taking part in a practical joke on a reality TV show. However, there have been other poisoning cases connected to the leader as well. Kim Kyung-hui, the aunt of Kim Jong-un and wife of Jang song thaek reportedly passed away in November 2014 at the age of 68 after suffering a stroke during a disagreement over her husband's public execution in May of the same year. However, a defector stated that Kim had given the order to poison his aunt because she had objected to the way her husband had been killed. Kim subsequently gave the order to execute Songthik's remaining seven family members. It is believed that since taking over as North Korea's dictator from his father, Kim Jong-il, Kim has murdered 16 of his top advisors. Proponents of the death penalty contend that the severe measures employed serve as a deterrence for potential criminals and are the only appropriate reaction to the most heinous acts. Despite this, the death penalty remains a contentious instrument in the totalitarian state. Critics contend that the death penalty has never deterred desperate criminals from carrying out their crimes, that botched executions cannot be made whole, and that the state has no right to take a citizen's life. Reports have also revealed several abuses, including sexual assault, torture, and other cruel treatment of the nation's population, in addition to the death penalty.
Without their permission, the North has even performed medical experiments on the bodies of patients suffering from mental health issues. In all of its variations, the death sentence is still a commonly applied punishment worldwide, providing insight into the variety of ways that people have chosen to take their own lives.